Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 10 through 12 and with all the deceit of unrighteousness in those who perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they might all be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness God is truth and perfection. He cannot let a liar or one who is overtaken by strong delusions enter his kingdom because they would pollute his perfect truth. That is why Satan is no longer in heaven. He is the father of lies. Do not pollute yourself by hanging out and talking with liars. You will never get to the bottom of their lies because they themselves are deceived. They can't tell you the source of their endless lying. Satan, the father of lies, is the expert at deception. So he's deceived them and they don't even know it. Um, and liars, you know, they work for him unwittingly. Top ranking politicians are throwing up the Baphomet sign. Nicki Minaj is having exorcisms done to her uh, because she has a demon living in her name, Roman Zelansky. Lady Gaga's overt Satanism. Bohemian Grove rituals. Do you think that these people are doing this just for fun? No. The elite know that Satan is real. They are giving him praise and honor in order to achieve success in this world because this world, this world of lies, deceit, death, backstabbing, this is Satan's world. This materialistic, filthy world is Satan's world. That is who they are giving their praises to in order to get ahead. So Satan is real. And the best thing to do, you know, God says to come out of, come out of the world. So you have to come out of the world. You can't hang out with people who lie. You can't hang out with people who even if you press them, even if you beg them, they never show you who they actually are. You'll know. I mean, you'll see the, the wheels in their head turning as they think up a, a, a better lie to tell you. You have to separate yourself from the world. You have to be one with God. God can't tolerate lies. God wants no part in lies. And in order to have a true connection with him, you can't tolerate them either. You can't pollute yourself with the lie. This is a perfect, this, this, this world is held together by perfection. Meaning God gives us free will, but God is perfect. And God has a limit to what he will allow. What he will allow. And he will not pollute his heaven with liars, deceivers, murderers who don't repent. So, you have to make yourself, your body is your temple, and you can't tolerate that. So today, start today, ridding yourself of liars, ridding yourself of things that make your temple unpure. God can only come into you if your heart is pure and if you are genuinely seeking him and not being at one with the world.